and we've got Melvin and Pam and Joe and others holding. I will get to your calls, okay? But I want to, you know, try to get back to these guys because your your topics are on topics. You can ask questions to them or make your statements. But but when we do go to your calls, we'll try to move through them quickly. Looking at this whole grand chessboard, and they admit it's a proxy war. Brzezinski does against Russia. China now challenges Obama's Asia pivot with rapid military buildup. The conflict with China and Russia is real at one level. But as you were saying, at another, there are Illuminati, globalist, uh, chaos agents, specter agents, Hydra agents. You can call them whatever you want. You see that out there in the culture. The Illuminati is telling you how they really run things. Evil agents within the systems playing countries off against each other, creating crises, creating wars, creating evil trades in, in the you know, slave trade of children, you name it. And then using the crises they create to set up police states to take our liberties, just like the drug war. Where is it going next from your intel? And as this huge awakening happens and as the military does the right thing and the police do the right thing and come out with all this data, and, 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 as this, and as our military says no to an attack on Syria, and as the chemical attacks get exposed as being launched by Saudi Arabia and the globalist, everything they're doing is blowing up in their face. So what are they doing? Doubling down in Ukraine? What, what's the higher level to this? I want to get uh, Joe Hagman's uh, take on this as well as Doug's, but Doug first, break down your take on what I just said. Yeah, uh, for, first of all, and I think it's important to note that if anyone questions, ever questions the fact that, you know, we've had deep uh, insider sources, uh, I, I think this this bears out our information, the, the Benghazi report. Now, having said that, what happens next, according to the very same sources that, that provided us the information about Benghazi and what really happened there, here's the deal, Alex, and, and, and uh, both of us had that researched this and believe this to be true based on what our sources said and our own research. The actual intent here is to take down these, the U.S. dollar. I mean, they are going to kill the dollar. And I've written about that, Alex. We've talked about it. Uh, Joe's written about it. You wrote book. about that six months ago. Now Soros is saying Ukraine will kill the dollar, and he's betting against it. Exactly. And that's that's the ultimate game because, you know, what's the dollar backed by? It's not backed by gold, silver. It's backed by the promise of the free flow of energy uh, from the West. It's our military. That's what it's backed by. It's and our land. Hey, well, that's true. It's collateralized by our land. And this also connects to the Bundys, uh, to the Bundy land grab, too. Uh, uh, Joe had done a lot of research on cover the fact that, that you know, China is involved in this as well, in the collateralization. Uh, but, but, but the bottom line, to answer your specific question, is they're going to take down the United States dollar. That's the ultimate objective. Yeah, and, and they want to do so in order to bring a complete destruction and, and lack of uh, any type of authority so that people are begging for the authority to be brought back in to be have order restored so they can set up their end game system, which is the, you know, the microchipping, the electronic health information, data, electronic currency, medical records, everything on, on one chip as a... Uh, you know, many of your guests have come on and, and talked about this is the end game, total control of all your resources, your habits, monitoring everything you do uh, with one specific piece of technology. Well, they admit that in Europe they want to collapse Europe, the big central banks do, and then have a Marshall plan to fix it, and Ukraine's the cover for that. But separately, they want to force Europe to buy U.S. gas, which would prop up the dollar. Uh, how does that fit in? Because that contradicts the move. Like on one hand, they're trying to kill the dollar with QE Unlimited. But on the other hand, they're trying to prop it up. What's happening there? Well, well, well think of it this way, Alex. Uh, think of it as being as the United States being the Titanic, or the U.S. dollar being the Titanic. They want the entire ship filled to capacity. And, and few lifeboats, no lifeboats. They're going to send the Titanic out. So what they're not, what, what they're doing right now is, is they're attempting to get as many people on board this, this, like the stock market. Yeah, exactly. Let's bring them in. We're not done plundering you yet. It's a Ponzi scheme. It's a, it's a big, it's a big game. So the more they come in at the end, 
the more money that they can plunder, the more wealth that they could take over. And that's the problem. That's and that's why Cloward and Piven, their admitted plan, bankrupt us to socialize us and to condition us. That's why they're running around like gremlins, like a pack of 85 trillion gremlins, shutting down and butchering every business they can, every farm, every ranch, every factory, every power plant. They are just shutting everything down. Obamacare is meant to bankrupt all the small businesses, cut people down to 20 hours. Uh, death panels, absolutely, while they buy armored vehicles, tanks, weapons, and prepare for war with the veterans they know aren't going to go along with us. Homeland Security just purchased another 25 million shotgun rounds. you got the post office buying bullets. Um, all these governmental agencies are buying ammunition and stockpiling them. For what? They obviously know that there's a, uh, there's a purpose behind it. They're not doing it to drive up the price of ammunition. So we have to look at the, the deeper issue and, and say, why are they doing this? Well, yeah. it's either for uh, planning on using them against uh, people, invaders, or yeah. American people. Your, your dad said two years ago on the show, 2012, that your Homeland Security source said they would turn on the race war. And that they really did that since then. And it's very clear they're doing it. What else should we look for, according to your own research and sources? Because you've got, I know, some of the same sources we do. How are things going for the globalists right now, though? Because they are being exposed. Well, uh, one of the biggest setbacks for the globalists was the exposure of what happened in Benghazi. Uh, they didn't win in Syria. Now, that, that doesn't mean they didn't stop trying. They're still trying in Syria. Uh, and, of course, that opened up Ukraine. But, the, but uh, uh, they're, they're, what they're doing is, is they're setting us up here for the, well, uh, to answer your question, um, they, they're, they're, they're trying again in Syria. They are now opening up different fronts as the Ukraine. They are going after the dollar, but 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 they've been kind of pushed back. You know, we made a difference, Alex. You made a difference. Your exposure to Benghazi, our exposure to Benghazi, we made a difference in Syria. And I think we can we, we still need to keep the pressure on the line and keep pushing Absolutely. And, and keep informing because we can expose these people um, and they don't I mean they're like cockroaches as you pointed out before uh, they don't like the light if we shine the light on them I'm gonna tell you we can win some battles of course ultimately we you know they're never gonna stop pushing for their overall agenda but what we can do is always buy time and time can be a precious commodity especially when we're so seeming to be so short on it and things seem so dire uh, all the time we can get we can get more people to to understand what's going on, more people can be prepared mentally, physically, spiritually, and, and that's what we need in order to prepare for what's coming. I agree, to recognize the threat and who it is. Is Putin double dealing with the globalists? They're now threatening to grab his Swiss bank accounts, they're saying. Um, I don't know if that story's a propaganda story in and of itself, implying he has all these Swiss bank accounts to create internal problems for him, but who is Putin and, 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 and what is Russia in your view in the overall chessboard versus China? Well, I'll tell you, we were just talking about this yesterday. My view real quick and then I'll turn it to Joe is this. Uh, Putin is in partnership with Obama uh, at, at a higher level. Of course, at the lower level, we're seeing the circus play out. And of course, Putin, don't forget, is, is, is a, a, a billionaire based on his oil holdings. So whatever he has, certainly he's in good shape. And he's KGB and will always be KGB. So we have to remember that. Uh, the bigger question, I think, is who is Obama? And I believe all these uh, leaders are just basic puppet talking heads. While each country, these elitists have no uh, allegiance, or these elitists have no allegiance to any country whatsoever. They use the countries as chess pieces on a chessboard, uh, as you said, the grand chessboard. And what they're going to do is use Russia, they're going to use China, they're going to use whatever nations they can to destroy and destabilize America. They're going to destabilize Russia and China eventually as they want to bring in this one world order that is their stated goal and has been their stated goal. How do we get their admitted philosophy of playing all the sides off against each other where they sit on top of us? How do we get that across to the police and military? Because enter the domestic operation. It's been clear for at least 15, 20 years they've been scripting civil war. Obama's been scripted as the new Lincoln. I don't think that's going to fly. Uh, who will, you know, crush the evil racist states. Uh, none of that's working anymore. But it doesn't matter. They're still deploying the armored vehicles, the high-tech surveillance. Now all the manuals come out on a weekly basis, not a monthly, where they're training to crush the Tea Party, veterans, gun owners. I mean, I hope the military and police know, uh, even though they, they can certainly fight hard, they couldn't defeat the Iraqis, who were going to be nothing compared to the veterans of this country. I've looked at it from every angle. I've war-gamed it. 
the, if 1% of the American people that are gun owners of, say, 170 million fight back, and most of those are veterans, that's 1.7 million combatants. If, if you kill one government operative, that wipes them all out. Military, police, everyone basically dead. I mean, it's easy. It's like moose hunting. You'd have to have, uh, uh, you know, a lottery. For, for, you know, you couldn't even find someone to kill if you wanted to, if people actually go out and start killing. I don't want that to happen because the globalists want us to wipe them out. It's public under the I-4 and under the NLE-09 through NLE-14, uh, which, which they classified this year, but we still got some of it. They openly are ready to then pour in foreign troops. I mean, I used to hear the old timers, military men go, they're planning to use Chinese troops. I'm like, oh, shut up. And they actually talk about using Chinese troops to, quote, secure their national debt. So we, how do we stop the Civil War? Because, I mean, or, or are we all just going to, like idiots, march out and kill each other? Well, unfortunately, the biggest question I have is what you asked there in the beginning is how do we bridge the gap between helping people understand who are uh, politically ignorant right now and ignorant of what's going on, how do we how do we bridge the gap to help help